Hey YPTC, this is going to be part one of a three-part series on pure tobaccos. My attempt and my goal here is to test out tobaccos in their pure form so I can learn to identify them when I purchase a blend. So I'm going to be over these three videos highlighting six different of the main types. Now, I, I know there's hundreds of different variations of some of the types, but for basic practicality, I'm going to review the big six. In this part one, I'm going to be covering Virginia's and Black Cavendish, which is actually a Virginia, but those are two different types. In part two, I'll be going over Orientals and Latakia. And finally, in part three, I'll be looking at Burleys and Perique. I'm going to be using this little color wheel here and I'll try and drop box it and put a link down below. It just kind of has different flavors. So maybe I can look at this and identify maybe what I'm, what I'm smelling as I, as I smell it or as I smoke the tobacco types. But before we get started in each of the videos, I found a really good general overview of the tobacco types that I'm going to be covering. It's put out by McBaron Tobacco Company. So they, they have a YouTube channel and I've taken those videos from there. They get full credit. So definitely go to their channel, have a look, give them a like and a sub and check out their other videos because they do have ones on blending and pipes and a bunch of different other topics. So definitely check them out. So without further ado, let's watch this short three minute video and their master blender is going to talk about Virginia's and the Black Cavendish. So I will see you when, when the movie's over. Hi, I am Per. I have been looking very much forward to introduce you a little bit to the world of Virginia's. And you can see here in front of me, I have a lot of tobaccos, a lot of different colors. And believe it or not, all these four tobaccos are actually Virginia tobaccos. Treated in a different way, but it all belongs to the Virginia family. This Virginia type is what we call a filler type. It's yellow, uh, it's rather thin in the leaves, uh, but it has not always been like that. Let me take you back to the origin. This has a complete other color. This color came in 1612 in Jamestown, Virginia, where um, the air-cured Virginia was born. But the most common is the yellow Virginia, the flu-cured Virginia. The other kind I have here, that is what we call a flavor type. Many people also call this a red Virginia. It is a little bit more ripe when harvested than the filler type. Uh, it gives a lot more flavor, grassy notes, uh, citrus notes uh, to a blend. And normally a blend is mixed of filler and flavor types. And for instance, if you take this filler type or it could be the flavor type, doesn't matter. And, and you, really, you really smell it. It smells of nothing perhaps a little bit like hay. So if I want to make a Cavendish tobacco out of this beautiful yellow leaves with a perfect burning ability because it's thin leaves, what could I do? Well, Cavendish is not a, a raw tobacco. It's a process that we undertake. So I have to go over here. And here I find a very special kind of Virginia born yellow as this one, but fermented like cigar tobacco. And when you smell it now, it already has a slight sweet note. Then we steam this tobacco and eventually the tobacco turns black into our modern Cavendish, the Virginia Cavendish. 
So it is in the process where we manufacture our blends, where the actual taste is coming out, where we enhance the natural flavor, what is in the tobacco. So this was the introduction to Virginia tobaccos. We had the air cured, we have the flu cured filler, we have the flu cured flavor type, and we have the fermentated. You might think what I have presented now is the four Virginias we are using, but you couldn't be more mistaken. Because to give you the whole picture, I would actually need to make a line of 190 different tobaccos. And I would love to sit down with you and talk a lot about uh, these Virginias because they are all that very much different. Each and every one are used because of its properties. Mixed with other tobaccos, it creates exactly the taste we want in the blend. But stay tuned. Watch next time. I'll be back. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that little presentation. It's just a general overview and I've included or want to include those videos in case there's new pipe smokers. I mean, I'm still a noob. I'm into it just about two months now. So I, those would have been good for me to watch early on. So that's why I wanted to kind of put them in there in case you've got brand new pipe smokers and they really don't have a clue what the different type of tobaccos are. So for today, we're going to be doing this Ready Rubbed Virginia. And the Black Cavendish. And the Ready Rubbed Virginia, I will be smoking in the corn cob. And the Black Cavendish, I will be smoking in my Butt of Steel job pipe. Okay, I am going to crack open the Virginia and see what kind of a tin note or what types of smells I can detect. Now this is the pure Virginia. definitely get kind of a horse barn hay smell. Maybe a little bit of old apple peel. I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm smelling, but the definitely, there's definitely a hay smell and as soon as I smelled it, I kind of thought back to my youth when I rode horses and that overwhelming hay smell that you'd get when you walked into a horse barn. But there's, there's something else. It's not like smelling hay. There's, there's a little bit of something else in there. Slight, slight, very slight sweetness kind of a smell. So that's what I get out of the pure Virginia. And I think based off the video that we just watched, this would have been classified as the red. So maybe a little, little more flavoring than a, the yellow leaf. Now let's, let me open this and see what I get from the black Cavendish. And this is the English style. Definitely much darker. Still a strong hay smell. But there is maybe like a raisin sweetness to it. Interesting. It's, it's like, it's like this one, but, um, stronger. It 
that's when I get out of it right now. So I, I kind of got, I got haze, hay and a, I don't know, maybe an apple peel, an older apple peel, not, not very strong at all, just a hint. This one though, the hay and the raisin kind of blended together in the black Cavendish. And I have no idea if that's even accurate, but in my mind, that's kind of what I'm smelling. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up these two pipes, maybe a third of the bowl. And then when I come back, um, the bowls will be filled and I'll smoke them one at a time. And we'll see what, what impressions I get when I actually light them up. So load up the pipes and I'll be back. Okay. I've got the pipes loaded. So first up is the Ready Rug Virginia in the cob pipe. Doesn't really have a, doesn't really have a flavor other than like a tobacco, just a straight tobacco, no, nothing else. I guess you'd, I'd call it a boring tobacco type. But that's what we expected anyway, because there's no, there's no flavoring, flavors or anything added to this. So I guess that's about what you'd get from, from just a straight, ordinary tobacco, basically. But when you smoke just the pure, unblended Virginia, I guess we know why they do blending now. Because there's, there's not a lot of character. Yeah, it's just, it's just straight, plain tobacco, basically, in, in my impression. I don't, I'm not even tasting, I'm not even tasting the hay. I mean, you get a little bit of this tobacco flavor in, in most other tobaccos, but there's always the other, other tobacco types in there to, to give it more, more taste. But I wasn't, I was not expecting to be surprised at the blandness of this. And I think it's difficult for, for me. I've been, I'm getting good at packing a full pipe and now I'm going back to try and pack a third of a pipe and it's not, uh, not working out.
Okay. Now let's try the Black Cavendish. If I can keep this lit. Now this one does feel a little, a little moist. <clears throat> I probably should have tested that and dried it out, but we'll see. We're, we're going for flavor, so if I don't get the whole bowl finished, then it's all right. Again, Black Cavendish, straight. Definitely something different there. Definitely can taste the grassy, grassiness and hay now. now. I'm not getting any of the sweetness damp that down that I got out of the tin note. But with the Virginia, it was just kind of a bland, but this definitely has a grassy or hay taste that it leaves in my mouth. but it definitely is different than that one. Now, could I pick this apart in an actual blend? I don't know. But it definitely has a little bit of, little bit of flavor to it. Now, now I did get, as I'm, as the bowl's going down a little bit, I'm getting a slight sweetness. I don't know if it's the same raisin flavor that I smelled it's very subtle very subtle but the tobacco itself is a much stronger much stronger taste and odor so it'll be it'll be interesting to see what happens when I try the others the orientals and the preaks Burleys. I'm guessing I'm going to get a lot of flavor out of some of those. Yeah. Okay. So without making this video too, too long, it's already pushing it here. The Virginia, straight Virginia, just kind of a bland tobacco flavor by itself the black cavendish was was a stronger grassier kind of smoke 
definitely stronger flavor in the mouth. Didn't detect just a bare hint of the sweetness in the in the smoke or in my mouth smoking it compared to a definite sweetness that I smelled from the tin note. Okay, so that wraps up part one. Um, not overly surprised, but to be honest, I not going into these with any kind of expectations, just I'm gonna take it for what it is. I'm gonna open the tin, I'm going to see what smells I can detect, and then I'm gonna smoke a little bit of each of the pure types and see see what I can take away from that. Um, so this has been part one. Part two is gonna be the Latakia and Oriental, and part three will be the Burley and Perique. So I hope to get those done within the next week and get those up. If you guys got any input or comments before I make the other parts, feel free to let me know. Something I can do better, um, something you wanna see done differently. But that's, that's a noob's preview of Pure Tobaccos, Virginia, and the Black Cavendish. So I'll catch you all on the next one. Happy piping. Mm -hmm.